Today's video is a quick run through on installing Octoprint onto a Raspberry Pi. We'll download the Raspberry Pi imager, which is really all you need. Once we have the imager downloaded, we'll step through the advanced settings to get everything set up. After the install, we'll walk through the initial setup of Octoprint. So let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is open up your favorite web browser and just head on over to Google. And we're gonna do a search for Pi imager. It should be the first link here. Download this for your operating system. And then once we have this downloaded, go ahead and run it. Go ahead and close out of Chrome and install. Once we have the Pi Imager installed, go ahead and run it. From here, we're gonna click on choose OS, scroll down to other specific purpose OS and OctoPi. Select the latest stable version. Connect the SD card you're gonna be using on your Raspberry Pi, and then click on choose storage. Select the SD card. And before we click on right on the keyboard, press Control Shift X. This is gonna bring up the advanced options for the Pi imager. And here we can set the host name. I'm gonna name this uh, Octoprint. Change the SSH password from the default. Configure your Wi-Fi. And set your time zone. Once you have all this set up, go ahead and press save and click right. This will format the SD card, so go ahead and click yes, and we'll let it do its thing. Now that the Pi Imager is done, go ahead and click on continue and move the SD card over to the Raspberry Pi that you're gonna be using on your 3D printer. Now that we've moved the SD card over to the Raspberry Pi, go ahead and connect your 3D printer to your Pi. Go ahead and connect the power to your Pi, power on your printer, and we'll give the Pi a second to boot up. You should be able to open up a terminal window on your PC here and ping whatever you name the pod during the install. So I named mine Octoprint, so you can ping octoprint.local a dash four for IPv4 and hit enter. And here we go. Mine is responding with an IP address of 192.168.1.134. We can do the same thing. We can type, we can take this octoprint.local and slap it into our browser. Get a backslash on the end of it. And that should take us to the setup wizard. From here, we can go ahead and click on next. We are not restoring anything from a backup. So next, this is just creating a user to access octoprint. So let's go ahead and create a user. Create account. And then next. In the middle here, go ahead and set your DNS. And use Google's and test it. And then test the host name as well. And we're gonna enable connectivity checks. Once that's enabled, go ahead and click next. And then either disable or enable the anonymous usage tracking. And then go to next. You are gonna to wanna to enable the plugin blacklist processing so you don't download any malicious plugins. And this is where you set up your printer's profile. I provided a link in the description below to the known printer profiles on Octoprint's community page. Be sure the printer profile settings are correct for your specific model printer. Go ahead and set this up real quick for my Ender 3. Once the printer profile settings are correct, go ahead and click next. And that's it, click finish. Once we're on the Octoprint home screen, go ahead and check the boxes on the left for save the connection settings and auto connect on server startup. And we'll click connect. The state should change to operational. I'm getting this weird error message right now because my Ender 3 is reporting the temperature twice. You should be able to scroll down on this page and click on upload and upload one of your G code sliced files. 
once uploaded, go ahead and click on load and print. And that's it. Your printer should start responding. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.